Hello, this is Mr Field and in this video we'll be looking at how to calculate the number of particles of a substance given its mass and how to calculate the mass of a given number of particles of a substance. Now, before you watch this video, make sure you are confident with how to understand chemical symbols and formulas, how to calculate relative formula masses, the basics of the mole concept and also calculations involving moles and the number of particles. So in this video, we're going to have a quick overview of the maths. Then we'll look at some worked examples of how to convert um, a mass into a number of molecules and then working backwards to find the number of molecules from a given mass. Now, let's look at the uh, basic maths we're going to be looking at. Now, how, how do we do this? How can we calculate a number of particles of a substance given a mass of that substance? Well, the answer is to combine two equations. So our first equation is we're going to be calculating quantities in moles um, using the mass and the relative formula mass like this. So we're going to say quantity in moles is mass divided by relative formula mass. And then also we'll be calculating quantities in moles um, given numbers of particles and Avogadro's constant like this. And now these are equations you've seen before. Um, so really this is just about combining them. OK, so let's look at example number one of calculating a number of particles from a given mass. And in this case, that is going to be how many molecules are there in 36 grams of water which is H2O. Now our approach here will be to calculate the relative formula mass first, then we'll use that to find a quantity in moles, and then we'll use that to calculate a number of particles. So let's find our relative formula mass of water first. So I'm going to say MR, that is relative formula mass, in brackets of H2O, so it's really clear I'm calculating this for water, is going to be two times hydrogen, because there are two H's in the equation, added to one times oxygen, because there is one O in the equation. Then I substitute in my atomic masses from here. So hydrogen is 1, so I'll say 2 times 1. And oxygen is 16, so I'll say 1 times 16. And that gives me an MR of 18 for water. So that is my first step done. Now for my second step, I'm going to find the quantity in moles of um, water. So to do that, I'm going to use this equation here. Number of moles equals mass over relative formula mass. So I'm going to say that the number of moles of H2O equals M, the mass, over MR, the relative formula mass. Now my mass in the question is 36 grams, and my relative formula mass I just calculated was 18. So I do 36 divided by 18, and that will give me 2 moles, and that is my second step done. Now for the third and final step, I'm going to calculate a number of particles, and that's going to use this equation here but I will need to rearrange it to make N, the capital N, the subject. So if I, if we see here, capital N has been divided by L. If I multiply both sides by L, like this, that rearranges to give me this version of the equation, where I say capital N equals lowercase n multiplied by L. So let's see how that pans out. So we're going to say the number of particles, capital N, for water, H2O, equals the number of moles of water, N, multiplied by Avogadro's constant, L. So our number of moles of water was 2 that we just found out. I'm going to multiply that by Avogadro's constant, which is always the same thing, always 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And if I put that into the calculator, I'll come up with the final answer, which is 1.204 uh, times 10 to the power of 24 as my final answer. Okay, brilliant, well done. Example number two, how many molecules are there in 24.5 grams of sulfuric acid, which is H2SO4? So we're gonna take the same approach again. So our first step uh, is gonna to be to calculate the MR of sulfuric acid. So I'm going to say MR of H2SO4 equals, and in the formula, we've got two times hydrogen, we're going to add on 1 times sulphur, because there's no number next to the S, and add on 4 lots of oxygen, because there's a 4 next to the O. So that's going to give me 2 times 1 for hydrogen, added to uh, 1 times 32 for sulphur, added to 4 times 16 for O. And if I add all that together, that's going to give me an MR for sulfuric acid, of 98. So that is my first step done. Now my second step is to 
find the quantity in moles. And to do that, again, we use our n equals m over mr. So we're going to say number of moles of H2SO4, so n of H2SO4 in brackets, equals mass, m, over relative formula mass, mr. Now, the mass in the question is 24.5 grams, so do 24.5, divided by the mr that I just calculated, which was 98. And if I do that, I get an answer of 0.25 moles of sulfuric acid. So that is my second step done. And the final step then is to calculate the number of particles. And again, I'm going to use this equation, but rearranged so that we say the number of particles equals N multiplied by L, moles multiplied by Avogadro's constant. So let's stick that in and see what happens. So we're going to say the number of particles of H2SO4 equals N, the number of moles, multiplied by Avogadro's constant, L, which equals that 0.25 we just found multiplied by Avogadro's constant, which is always 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And if we do that, we get a final answer of 1.505 multiplied by 10 to the power of 23 molecules in 24.5 grams of sulfuric acid. Okay, so our last example of calculating a number of particles from a mass, how many molecules are there in 0.36 grams of glucose which is C6H12O6. So again, we're going to start off by calculating the relative formula mass, MR. So we're going to say MR of glucose, C6H12O6, equals um, 6 times carbon, added to 12 times hydrogen, added to 6 times oxygen, which will come to 6 times 12 for carbon, add 12 times 1 for hydrogen and then add on 6 times 16 for the oxygen and if we stick that into the calculator that will give us a MR for glucose of 180 so that is our first step completed well done us next step is to calculate the number of moles of glucose and we're going to use our moles equals mass over MR formula in the top right there so we're going to say the number of moles of C6H12O6 equals mass M over relative formula mass MR. So our mass is 0 0.36 grams, that was given in the question. And our MR we just calculated was 180. So we've got 0 0.36 divided by 180, and that will give us an answer of 0 0.002 moles. And that is our second step done. And so our final step is, again, to use our rearranged version of this formula where we make n, capital N the subject, so we get N equals N multiplied by L. Um, so let's have a look at that. So number of molecules of C6H12O6 equals number of moles, little n multiplied by Avogadro's constant, capital L, which will give us 0 0.002. That's the number of moles we just worked out. Multiplied by Avogadro's constant, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And if we stick that into the calculator correctly, we'll get a final answer of 1.204 times 10 to the power of 21 as our final answer. Okay, let's look at our calculations working the other way around. So this time, we're going to start with the number of particles and find the mass of that many particles. And our approach this time will be similar, but sort of reversed. So we're going to start off by finding the quantity uh, in moles. Then we'll calculate MR, and then we'll use that to find the mass of that many particles. So let's have a look at the question. We've got 3.01 times 10 to 23 molecules of methane. So what is the mass of that? So let's start by finding the quantity in moles. And this time, we're going to use our moles and particles equation, but without rearranging it. So we end up with the number of moles of um, CH4 is going to equal the number of particles, capital N, divided by Avogadro's constant, capital L. So our number of particles is given in the question, 3.01 times 10 to the power of 23, divided by Avogadro's constant, which is always 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And if we do that, we find that we have 
0.5 moles of methane. Okay, so that's the first step done. Our second step is to calculate MR. So we're going to say MR, so MR in brackets, CH4. Remember, it's really important to present these really clearly, so it's obvious to the examiner what you're trying to do. So we're going to say that is going to be 1 times carbon added to 4 times hydrogen, okay, which equals 1 times 12, the carbon, added to 4 times 1 for uh, hydrogen. And that will give us an MR of 16. So that's our middle step done. And then finally, we're going to find the mass of that. We're going to use our moles equals mass over relative formula mass equation. But again, that's going to get rearranged so that we end up with mass equals um, uh, number of moles times relative formula mass MR like that. So let's how, see how that pans out. So we're going to say the mass of our CH4 is going to be equal to our number of moles multiplied by our relative formula mass MR. Okay. Now a quantity in moles we found out in our first step, so that's going to be 0.5 multiplied by the MR we found in the second step, which is 16. And that's going to give us a final answer of 8 grams as the mass of 3.01 times 10 to the 23 molecules of methane. Okay. Now, next example, uh, number two, what is the mass of 1.505 times 10 to the power of 22 molecules of nitric acid, HNO3? So again, let's start by finding the quantity present in moles. So we're going to do that using our first equation here. So we will say the quantity in moles of HNO3 equals the number of particles, capital N, divided by Avogadro's constant, lowercase n. So our number of particles is given here, 1.505 times 10 to the power of 23, or 22, sorry. Um, we'll divide that by Avogadro's constant, which is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. And if we do get to do that, we get an answer of 0 0.025 moles. Okay. First step done. Second step, calculate the MR for nitric acid. So we're going to say the MR of HNO3 equals one lot of hydrogen added to one lot of nitrogen added to three lots of oxygen. Now we've got the atomic masses up there in the question. So we've got 1 times 1 for hydrogen added to 1 times 14 for oxygen added to 3 times 16 for oxygen. And that comes to, a, to an MR of 63. And so then the final thing is to use our rearranged version of our moles and relative formula mass equation where we can say the mass equals the moles n multiplied by MR. So we're going to go like this. We'll say the mass of HNO3 in brackets like that, keep the presentation good, equals N, the number of moles, multiplied by MR, the relative formula mass. So in this case, our number of moles we just found was 0 0.025. And our MR we just calculated was 63. So we've got 0 0.025 multiplied by 63. And that gives us a final answer of 1.575 grams, just like that. Okay, last example. Um, what is the mass in kilograms, it's worth noting that, of 9.03 times 10 to the 25 molecules of glycerol, C3H8O3. So we're going to do our same approach as before, find the quantity in moles, calculate MR, and then calculate the mass. But we just need to remember that once we found the mass in grams, we will need to convert it into kilograms. Right, let's have a little look. So, the quantity in moles, for that we're going to use our first equation there. So the number of moles of glycerol C3H8O3 equals the number of particles, N, divided by Avogadro's constant, L. So that is 9.03 times 10 to the power of 25, divided by... 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, Avogadro's constant. And that gives us an answer of 150 moles of glycerol. So that's our first step done. Our second step then is to calculate the MR. So for the MR, we're going to say MR of glycerol, C3H8, 
O3 equals 3 times carbon added to 8 times hydrogen added to 3 times oxygen. If we substitute in our atomic masses, so that will be 3 times 12 for um, carbon added to 8 times 1 for hydrogen and then 3 times 16 for oxygen which gives us a relative formula mass of 92. And finally, we're going to use our rearranged version of that equation, rearranged like this. So we say that mass equals mR multiplied by n. We use the rearranged version of that equation to find our mass because we've got the moles, we've got the mR. So let's combine the two. So we will say that the mass of C3, H8O3, equals n multiplied by mR. N is our number of moles, which we just found was 150. Um, and then uh, mR, which is, is the relative formula mass, which was 92. And if we do that, we are going to get an answer of 13,800 grams. But remember, we're being asked to give it in kilograms. So we're going to divide that by 1,000. And that would give us 13.8 kilograms as our final answer so that's it the end as always thank you for listening and well done if you got this far